fans fell for Nico Tortorella as the lovable tattoo artist in Younger. And if you have missed them from your TV, no worries, because Walking Dead World Beyond is back with Nico fighting zombies in a post-apocalyptic world. Take a look. Bang. Shots Serum fired. changed the game. Bang. So we change how we play. Why have we killed thousands of people? Why don't you tell us? And Nico Tortorella is here with us now. Hi, Nico. Hey, how are you? Okay, I think it's really important. I know there are such diehard fans of, of this whole world, but I think it's important for people who are not familiar with The Walking Dead just to give them a gist of what's going on with World Beyond. Yeah, so we started World Beyond in the first season 10 years post-apocalypse, right? Post the sky falling. So this is really a story about a generation that was born into the world being different and really started experiencing it, you know, at an early age. Uh, the first season of this show is really intimate. It's really character-driven. It's about who we are and how we are getting from point A to point B. And this second season comes in hot. If, if, if that first season was A to B, the second season is B to Z in like three languages. So set, we'll set up what's going on with your character, with Felix Carlucci as well. Yeah, so at the top of the second season, Felix is in a lot of pain, right? Um, both physically, emotionally, spiritually. Hope, uh, his, his sister in so many ways, was, was taken by the CRM. And Leo is still missing. So there's a lot of this, I need to figure out what's going on. I need to rescue Hope and Leo. I need to, you know, get back to the game plan. And I think at the end of the second season, when Felix is reunited with his boyfriend, Will, there's, there's even more to live for now. You know, it's like the gang is back together in a lot of ways. And uh, I think my, my favorite part about Felix and Will's relationship and this dynamic in this universe is that never once while we were shooting did I ever think of Felix as gay, right? As in this like circle of being gay. Like he's in a relationship with someone that he loves and cares about and that's it. Like it's treated like every other relationship that exists on television. This is a show about like continuing to live in a time when life is so fragile and I think that that is something that we can all relate to right now, you know? Yeah. You know I can't let you go without talking about Younger a little bit. But it's been so exciting because I know so many people are discovering the show for the first time now. I'm like, how, um, A, how are you just discovering that? So what is that like? And any talks of a sequel, a prequel, a movie, anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, um, you know, 2020, people had a lot more time to watch television than they did before. So a lot of people discovered that show for the first time. And it's been it's been really nice to meet people, uh, new fans, you know, um, who started from the beginning. And in so many ways, actors on television, right, were some people's best friends. We're in their living room, especially last year, more so than anyone else is. I love it. And, and what right now in your world is exciting you? I feel like I, I was, you know, stalking you on social media a little bit. I, I feel like there might be another book in the works. I, you know, what's exciting you right now? Yeah, there is. Uh, there's a children's book in the works, actually. Um, and uh, my partner and I, Bethany, we're working on, on, on having some kids right now. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really happy to be alive. You can catch Walking Dead World Beyond every Sunday night at 10 p.m. on AMC with new episodes premiering early on AMC Plus all season. Nico, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.